Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Prophetic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress plugin development tutorial using Boilerplate. This is our part number 19. Inside this video session guys, we will see that how can we attach assets file something like CSS to our plugin. If I back to browser, now go to install plugins list, click on activate button. Now so far, this is the menu we have developed. Here we have called submenus called dashboard, create book and list book. If we click on dashboard, so right now there is no layout for this page. So we want to make some layout so that from this layout actually we can create some book and also by using our data table we will list all the created books inside this submenu. But before making layouts, we need some files like CSS, JavaScript as well as some images. So inside this video, we will see only that how can we attach CSS file to our plugin. So inside our plugin or inside our WordPress, we have a function called WP in Q style. So if we simply search about WP in Q style, WP means WordPress and here are the links. Click on the first link. This is the well documentation about this function. By using this W in Q style WordPress function, we can attach our style sheets file. For the plugin, what we are developing, we need some files. So the files I have downloaded before making this video called bootstrap, datatable.min.css and sweet alert. Back to our browser and if we type about bootstrap cdn link this is the actually quick start bootstrap cdn by stack path click on this link and here we can get about bootstrap.mean.css only copy this link opening here click on enter button and this is all about the css only, only what you need to do click on right click and click on save as and save to your local system. In the same way, go to database datatables.net. From this website, we can download about this file if I copy the CDN link. Go here, pasting it here. Click on enter button and this is all about jquery.datatables.mean.css and this is the file what I have downloaded. And the third file called sweetalert.css, simply type sweetalert CDN link. The first link that we can see here, click on that and this is what we are getting. Inside this, we have called JavaScript tag here, CSS tab here, click on CSS and we can get about the CDN path. Again, need to copy, go here and pasting it here. This is all about sweetalert.css file. After downloading these three files, back to plugin folder and remember we have made a folder called assets. Inside these assets, go to CSS and paste all the three downloaded files. Now in the next, I am going to attach all these CSS files to our plugin. If you, if you go to our admin panel, press Ctrl U and search for this sweet alert. So right now there is no CSS file attached with this name. Back to editor. Now open up called admin and this is the admin file and here we have a method called inqStyles. Inside this method by the help of this wp style function we are going to use and attach our CSS file. Firstly, let's remove these comments from here and remember this, this is the method actually we have called right here inside this includes folder and the main file of this includes folder and inside this we can find all about inside this admin hooks and inside this admin in script and this is what actually we are calling this in styles method. In the next video, we will see about the using and inquiring about our JavaScript files. So right now, 
we are discussing about attaching CSS file inside our plugin. Back here, if I close these unused files, copy this, pasting it here. Now in the next, we need to pass our, let's say, the file we are attaching, the file name here. So simply, in the first, we are attaching, let's say, bootstrap file. So let's say, bootstrap and I'm going to add a hyphen here, so OWT bootstrap and this is all about to get our plugin URL. So if I cut this back to this file, sorry if I open this file and let's define a constant here. And let's say that this is books management tool, let's say plugin URL. And inside this, this should be the value. If I copy this constant, go here and calling this constant here. This constant will give the URL up to this plugin called Books Management Tool after this folder. It means after this folder, we need to go inside this Assets folder. In the next, we need to go inside this CSS folder. So let's say here we need to go inside admin, no, in, we need to go inside assets, CSS and all we need to copy about the CSS file called bootstrap.min.css. So copy that and I'm going to pasting it here. In the next we need to pass our dependencies. So right now this file has no dependencies on any of other files. This is all about plugin version and so on. So this is the first way means by using our WP in QA style we are attaching our bootstrap file. So in the same way copy pasting it here and pasting it here. Now in the next I am going to attach let's say this file called jquery.datatables.mean.css copy and pasting it here. This is OWT let's say data table. In the next, I am to copy this sweetalert.css, copy this file name back here and pasting it here. OWT this is sweetalert. Now if I make comment of this line, so right now we have three files called bootstrap, data table and sweetalert. If I save all these changes of this file, back to browser, reload this page and if I press Ctrl U to get the source code and search for sweet alert. Ctrl F, let's say sweet alert and as we can see that we have now successfully attached called sweet alert.css file. If we go to the admin panel, go here, click on the dashboard and if I press Ctrl U and this is the code of our dashboard and this is the code of our plugin submenu. Now here if we again search for sweet alert now as we can see that this file means this CSS file is also linked with our dashboard page. This is not valid. What we want that all the CSS file what we have attached this will be enabled when we open any of the plugin page. It's because while opening every CSS file on anywhere of this dashboard pages then it may be either conflict with our existing CSS file. So how can we prevent about opening of CSS file on every page of WordPress pages? Now for that we have the simplest way go to plugin and this is the page. As we can see that here inside this menu, we have a query string parameter called page and this is our plugin slug. So back to editor, go inside this inquiry styles and let's say that valid underscore pages. I'm going to, to make an array inside this. Let's say that this is the first slug of this dashboard menu. Again copy, this is the second sub menu and click on list book, 
this is third sub menu it means that inside these pages we are going to enable the CSS file else inside another pages apart from this array values we are not going to enable those after storing all these values inside array next we have to read about this page value if you go to the post here we have don't have about the page variable inside this query string so I'm to this editor let's say that page equal to let's say each set let's request and inside this we are going to read about this page property copy this pasting it here and empty value it means we have to read this page value from query string so let's say if in array this is a PHP function inside this the first parameter is the value so copy pasting it here and in the second parameter we need to pass an array inside this array we are going to find this page let's say that if we are getting this page inside this valid pages it means that we have to add our CSS file so copy all these codes or cut that go inside this block let's say adding CSS files in valid pages pasting it here now if we save this file back to browser click on the plugin file if we close all these things and reload this page click on Control U search for sweet alert and this is the file as we can see that go to dashboard click on that press Control U and search for sweet alert then as we can see that there's no file with this name this is not for the dashboard again if you go to the appearance Control U search for sweet alert there's no file with this name so this is all about adding CSS file in a better way to our plugin files in the next video we will see that in the same way how can we attach our JavaScript files these are the assets file like CSS file and the JavaScript files by using these files actually we can create our plugin sub menu layouts so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment I will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day